idea of, okay, shit, I'm going to have to eat six times the amount of food, all these greens. That's not even a, not, it doesn't even enter the thought process. So mm. she, so to Jory's credit, she started off by saying the amount you'd have to consume would just be so much. It would be very difficult. And that's, that's probably, I shouldn't say it's probably, it's one of the reasons for sure why we don't see plant-based guys at the top. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people, like a lot of elite athletes that are vegan, they say that most of them got their foundation. Like they became elite eating flesh, what Johnny would say, eating chicken, steak, fish, seafood. Is that true with the athletes you work at, work with or have most of them been like vegan like their whole life? Most would have had animal sources. There are There is a smaller population that have always been vegetarian of some sort. So if you're vegan, so that's no animal products. It can be challenging, especially with the amount of traveling. If you're a lacto-ovo, then you're including dairy products, eggs. So it's that much easier, right? If you're pescatarian, you're including fish, but not other animal sources. It depends on the level of vegetarianism. So if we're going vegan, I don't have a ton of vegan athletes. For sure. And okay. most do decide that they like the idea of vegetarian because it allows the plant-based as well as the animal-based, but they get to select where that would be. So that maybe they're good mm -hmm. with eggs and cheese and fish, but they don't want to have chicken and beef. Understood. So, yeah. Awesome. Hey, you're hanging out with Keith, Jory, and John and Marty here. Mornings in the live with Keith and friends here. It says shortly after eight and nine o'clock Eastern time on the protein break. We bring Jory in Monday, Wednesday, Fridays to talk about nutrition through the lens of protein. And I'm really glad to have her here today. What I liked about today's segment is that we're all offering different points of view or offering different ways to get to the end. We got Johnny's 80, 8,500 years of experience of eating flesh, five, six, 10 pounds of meat per day. We got Jory coming in with offering some alternative points of views. And we got Marty asking some great questions about, hey, what's, an, what's a traditional athlete doing today? So I invite you to join us here Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this protein break segment. Jory, some co closing comments from you to wrap up today's, today's segment from you, Jory, today. Yeah, if you're not aiming to be like on stage bodybuilder, there's probably a lot more wiggle room in terms of what you're going to do. 